I first met Dean not long after my father died. I was a young writer trying to take off. It's interesting to play characters that have existed, and um, especially, especially when you have grown to love those people. When I played Joan Jett, I couldn't improvise. I, I felt so weird putting words in her mouth. I just, I, I always referred to her. And in this case, it was like, we wouldn't be doing on the road right. We wouldn't be, unless it was found, unless so much of it was, was, was like learned and then forgotten so we could actually just discover it ourselves. It is, isn't it? I mean, we did the, you know, each of us did our own research as much as possible. You know, I listened to Kerouac's voice you know, all, all the time, but at, this, at the end of the day, you have to take in everything about what you understand from their personalities that we've heard from the experts and things, and then you also have to then leave that behind to some extent, so that it doesn't become a burden, you know. To be able to play characters that are ridding of inhibitions and fears, we have to try and rid of our inhibitions and fears while trying to achieve a hard sort of goal at the end of the obstacle. <laughs> If Dean just raised in society, he had just married a 16-year-old chick named Mary Lou. I read it when I was 17, and now it's funny to see everybody else reading it at 17. And all these young people, I mean, Barbie doll 21 on Twitter or something like that. It's like, have you read on the road? Right. Yeah. It's a really particular type of person who loves the book. Um, I mean, it's, it's just it's not for everyone. I mean, which is like kind of, I guess, which is like kind of the heart of the story. They're not, they're not necessarily uh, like going to be able to roll with every crowd, but they very much, you know. I mean, they're, they're, I, I don't find them to be rebellious. I think they're just really, truly being who they are, and they don't fit in. Those that identify with it can read every word of the spontaneous prose and go all the way through the book and be hanging on every single word. And those who don't identify are the ones that said, "Yeah, it's I read that book," on. but they read the chapter, they read the line that said. You know, we all know the Mad Ones are like, I love it. Yeah, I love Mad Ones too, but you couldn't read past the first chapter because you didn't identify and you couldn't hang on every word like any other, you know, sort of inspired or advocate of the book had. I don't know what's wrong with me. I do all these dumb things and I think in all these distorted ways. You know, I'm burning up.